Well, good Thursday morning, everybody. It was a big day for regional soccer, a big week for regional soccer, as a matter of fact. Four of the five remaining teams entering the regional round participated in semifinals yesterday. We got a doubleheader of highlights for you this morning. We're starting Division One, Traverse City Central against Whoa, Rochester Trojans. Adams. And those Trojans can scream and they can score. 13 minutes in, it's going to be a header by Danny Brott off the corner kick from Sam Hoover. Trojan Nation running wild like Hulkamania was back in the 1980s. one nothing lead. Now the defense. Jackson Conlon on the Trojans going to head one out away from the goal. Then on a putback shot, Elliott Stratton gets the hand on it, knocks it over the net. Defense well in tow, but the Highlanders secure a tie here. Devin Byer, cross kick, knocked in by the noggin of Leonard Zorn. We're tied at one at the half, second half. Another corner kick by those guys in gold, not the Trojans. Matt Weiss going to get a head on it, and then Zorn's going to get another head on it. We see what they work on in practice every day. Highlanders with those highlighter shoes, hang on. And the highlighter hair to boot, hang on to eliminate Central 2-1 to one in the Division I semi yesterday. Let's skip to Division Three Regional Semi, Elk Rapids against Grant down in Claire. Josh Williams down the sideline. Don't get confused, he's not out of bounds. That's a football out of bounds. Alex Barajas taking over on cruise control and, well, uh, hit the easy button over there at Staples. They get tough, out shooting the Tigers in the first half. Andy Atkinson centers, but Eric Teague's header just a little too strong. Then Elliot Huggins is gonna shot you put a shot up that goes a little too far to the right, but when the Grant defense tries to clear it, T gladly accepts it, and uh, boom. When you can line up your shot, beautiful stuff happens. Case in point, going to pocket. 1-1 one, one at half, 1-1 one, one at regulation. Elks Jacob Fedrigan end up scoring the game winner with 20 seconds to go in the second overtime frame, and the Elks are moving on, and they're going to play Tawas, a team that defeated Ludington in overtime last night, 1-0. That means it'll be the Elks and Braves Saturday afternoon at 5 p.m. in clear for the regional final. Harbor Springs also fell short in their semifinal yesterday in Muskegon, Western Michigan Christian, 3 nothing. The Warriors advanced to play Leland in a regional final at 1 p.m. Saturday at Muskegon Catholic Central. And 